Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for the good response and the giveaway. And the giveaway contest is still applicable and it will be valid till 1st June. And we will announce the winners on 1st June 2020 as well. So hurry up and please do participate in the contest. I have shared the link in the description below. In case you are not aware, three members of our YouTube family are going to get a surprise gift. So please do share and subscribe and please do comment on what is your favorite programming language and why on the YouTube link that I've given in the description. Okay, go to that video and please do share, subscribe and comment. So in the previous episodes, we have already covered Amazon S3, S3 encryption and storage tiers. And in this episode, we will be covering Amazon Athena. So it's a good thing that we have covered so many topics in our AWS course. And I know that we are moving a bit slow, but we will catch up soon. So don't worry about that. So now let's move forward then. So before talking about Athena, I would request you to watch the S3 episodes that we already had to get a better outlook on Athena. And if you're already aware of S3, then you are in the right place. So imagine you have a pool of data on S3 or let's suppose you have your S3 data like your server logs, application logs, and you want to analyze that data. Okay, here what you need is a tool that can help you query those logs using a pattern or a query language that can help you extract the data that you need to either show it on your dashboard or show it as a part of your report. So in this case, the tool that can help you do this is AWS Athena. AWS Athena is an interactive query service that makes it easy to analyze data directly in Amazon S3 using standard SQL queries. And Amazon Athena is completely serverless which means there is no need to manage the infrastructure and you pay only for the queries that you run. Okay, and it's basically $5 per TB. So you can convert that into Indian rupees. So it will be around 350 or 380 something based on the current conversion rate that we have. Okay, so you need to remember that Athena is completely serverless and you can run your queries to extract data directly from your S3 bucket and you only have to pay for the number of queries that you run. And you are charged based on the amount of data scanned by each query. So I hope everyone is aware of SQL or what we call as a structured query language. So using SQL, we can query the data that you have on S3. And we will be talking about this, but moving forward. So as I already said, Athena is serverless. So there is no infrastructure to set up or manage and you pay only for the queries you run. And the best part that comes along with this is Athena scales automatically, so you don't have to worry about the performance. It also executes query in parallel. And if you feel what about large data and complex queries, don't worry about that. Results are very fast, even with large data sets and complex queries. And Athena helps you analyze unstructured, semi-structured and structured data that are stored in S3 and it uses Presto with ANSI SQL support and works with a variety of standard data formats which include like CSV, JSON, ORC or we call it ORC and Avro and Parkit. And Athena is ideal for quick ad hoc querying but it can also handle complex analysis including large joins, window functions and arrays. The best part is that Athena integrates with Amazon QuickSight for easy data visualization. This is one of the best parts that I like because I am a huge fan of visualizations and you can agree that we can use Splunk or design an ELK architecture, but Athena can directly work on your S3 data and provide you the integration with QuickSight for your data visualization. That's a really good feature. And if you're not aware of QuickSight, Amazon QuickSight is a fast cloud powered business intelligence service that can help you easily create and publish interactive dashboards. And as Athena can be integrated with QuickSight, you can easily create dashboards and reports from your S3 data. Okay, so that's it about QuickSight. We can cover this in detail later on in the coming chapters. So as I already mentioned, you can use Athena to generate reports or to explore data with business intelligence tools or SQL clients connected with a JDBC or an ODBC driver. And there are many SQL clients actually which use JDBC and ODBC like SQL Server, Oracle and many more. And Amazon Athena uses Presto as I already mentioned with ANSI SQL support and works 
on a variety of standard data formats that I've already mentioned like CSV, JSON, ORC, Avro and Parakeet. So CSV and JSON are common, isn't it? But ORC, ORC is basically from and that is used in Hadoop storage and Avro is also from Apache used for data serialization and storage as well. Parakeet is also a column storage type from Apache. We don't need to discuss all these in depth but some knowledge is good, isn't it? And one more important thing is that Athena integrates with the AWS Glue data catalog. So don't worry if you're not aware of AWS Glue. Uh, basically, AWS Glue is a fully managed extract, transform and load service. Okay, so basically it is an ATL service. Okay, and don't worry about these things. Just try to remember them. So if you're not sure about how they work also, it's fine. You can go back and read more about them. So don't worry about it. So I just wanted to share that Athena also integrates with Glue, which can use the data that you have extracted from Athena for ETL processing. And Athena also offers a persistent metadata store for your data in Amazon S3. And when it comes to accessing Athena, there are typically four ways that we can access Athena. So the first one is AWS Management Console. The second one is JDBC or ODBC connection. The third one by using the API that it provides like Athena API and basically the most generic way that we always access services basically it is the CLI so it can be also accessed by Athena CLI. So remember these points very carefully and for exam point of view as well that AWS Athena provides you a platform where you can query the data from S3 without loading it to a database using the basic SQL language okay or basic SQL queries. Okay, and one more thing that you need to remember for exam is whenever there is a question based on like querying data from S3 directly or using the S3 server logs or access logs and analyzing them from S3, you will always get an option which is called Athena and that would be the right answer. So let's see a real time example here. So the real time example that I'm going to show you is for a data pipeline which we are going to use to transform the data into a reporting structure and finally creating a dashboard. So if there is any time you find yourself in a position where you have to use your AWS S3 data to create dashboards and reports, remember this architecture. Okay, this might be very useful in that case. Okay, so the first step that we have here is we ingest the data that we have that is our source data into the staging area of S3. So this is basically our S3 staging area where we load the data to the S3 and then we filter and transform the data for reporting into a different S3 location. Okay, then we transform the data that is extracted into a reporting table in Athena which goes ahead and it is included in a dashboard created using Amazon QuickSight. Okay, and when we have incremental data, it will be getting ingested automatically and will be updated automatically. So the reports will be shown in real time or the dashboard will be updating in real time. So what did we learn here? So the data that you have can be put into use like your server logs or application logs or company audit logs that is stored in S3. It can be anything like a historical data as well. That data that you have can be put into use to project real-time analysis, reporting and dashboards using this very simple feature which is called AWS Athena. So I hope that was clear. Let's move on to the demo where I will show you how you can extract your data using AWS Athena. So this is your AWS management console. Okay. And this is the find service tab here or the drop down list that we get and you need to search Athena here. Okay. This is a separate service. Okay, just remember that. And once you have typed Athena, it will show you like query data in S3 using SQL. You can just go ahead and click on this. So this will help us query the data that we want from our S3. And where does the data reside? In our S3 bucket, isn't it? And in the last episode, I had created a S3 bucket named Pytholic. And that is where I have stored my S3 server logs. Okay, or the access logs that we have. These are all the access logs that have been stored. With every operation that I performed on S3 bucket, these are the logs that have been stored. Okay. And these logs are the thing that we can query. And we are not going to transport it into any database. We'll query them directly using Athena. Okay. So this is a very cool thing. So when you are in Athena, so what do you need? You need to access the bucket, right? This will be the first default page that you have. Okay. There is nothing. So there is a new query, 
there is no data source other than AWS data catalog. There is no table or database here and there are no tables or views. Okay. So the first thing that you need to do is click on settings and import the bucket name that you have. Okay. And it can also have a nested directory if you have it in your bucket. Okay. So I don't have anything. So if you can see here, it's just Pytholic. So I mentioned just as Pytholic. Okay. And I'll save it and you can encrypt query results also and autocomplete, but I am not going to do that. So what is the benefit of having autocomplete is when you're typing, you can autocomplete the queries that you type. Okay. Or else if you want, you can type like command control plus space. So this is one of the benefits okay that you can enable or disable based on your requirements and i'll not enable it right now okay just click on save so once you have saved this you are in a safe position and i am going to share a site with you this site is basically from amazon and i'm going to share it in the description as well this provides us the information of how do i analyze my amazon s3 server access logs using athena okay so we have already done the first line or the first step that we have we have already imported the bucket that we wanted and the second step also we are already done with that we are in the aws athena console and now we are going to create a database so this is basically the query language that we are going to use and we are just going to paste it okay and this is going to create a database for us so now if you see we have created a new database just click on this okay you have this drop down default and the new database that has been created okay just click on this so currently there are no tables attached to it okay but we have to create tables so what we are going to do we are going to use the same site again and this is basically the structure of the table that is going to be replicated in athena so i'll just click on the new tab and i'll paste it here so here you need to remember the location of this particular entity has to be changed it will be telling here as well where it went yeah so you can query these properties in athena for location enter the s3 bucket and prefix path from the step one so this is the prefix step that was in step one but we already have it here okay so i'll just copy this and i'll replace it with this one okay remember this is the new query that i'm writing this is the same database name that i already created here so if you see here, there's the same database name that I just created and this is the table name that I have given right now to create it. So this is a new table that is going to get created. Okay. So once I run this query, a new table with this name will be created. Okay. So now the table has been created. So these are all the entities that we have inside the table or the columns that we have. Okay. So now what we want, we need to extract the data, right? see we have not ported that into any table right now this everything that we are doing it with athena okay so you have not created any table or you are not using any particular sql database or or any other high level databases to import the data we are just using athena we are just querying the s3 logs and we are trying to portray it using the tabler format okay and we have already created the database and this is the first table my bucket underscore logs and this is where i have copied the code okay so you as well can use this to copy the code and create the table and make use of it okay so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to just extract some data okay so let's type the first basic hello world programs for databases okay select star from okay and run the query So these are all the information that we have in the table. And now what you can do is you can just either perform like specific operation that you want or specific queries that you want. Let's suppose I want. So now let's suppose I want to print only the HTTP status and number of time that they have appeared. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type a select command and that will be like HTTP status. Okay. Comma count star from I'll just copy this once again. Okay. You have to use group by. HTTP status. Run the command. Okay. So what we know is like this is the ID, let's suppose the serial number and 404 has appeared 77 times and 403 has been occurred two times and 200 that is a successful request. 
or the response is basically 168 times okay these are small operations that i have shown you but you can perform very large operations based on the sql queries that you write and as per your reports requirement or the dashboard requirement okay and this was a very simple example of how aws athena works and how we can query data from s3 directly and i just wanted to show you like how simple it is to query s3 data directly using athena and in the exams, remember it very carefully. If you have any questions related to querying S3 data directly, remember the answer should be Athena. So I hope you really liked the video and the session today. So if you did, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And please make sure you comment on what you liked, what you didn't. And if anyone of your friends want to watch the video, please do share with them. And I'll meet you in the next episode of AWS. Until then, it's Pythonic signing off.